There was a big uh, art show of all my collections, over 8,000 objects. I've done some photography shows. You know, I know how to do an event. I've never made a film before. I'm an electrical engineer. I learned screen printing. Like, I've never seen a ghost. I have made some music videos. I collect the like, clown stuff. Oh, I want to have a pop-up ramen shop. I actually teach a college course about fun. You know, I was in a controversial band. I don't know if I ever had a trike. I would be a horrible crime scene investigator. I'm the weird guy who collects the stuff. I have like 10,000 objects that are sitting around my garage. I collect so many things just to save it and remember it and have it like, this is a representation of this thing that happened. Are most of them like other people's things or are they your things that you keep? I would say the kinds of things that I collect and save, it's like half and half. Some things I have from when I was a kid. Some things I bought again, like when eBay first came out, I could go back and buy some of the toys that I had as a kid, like the little electronic football game and stuff, where it's like, I want that, now I have it again. And it's like, now this part of my childhood I have again. The other half is like other people's stuff. So it's the mystery of like, you don't know what this is. And so a lot of things I found at thrift stores, it's just like, I don't know what this history of this thing is. I feel like I'm at this point where I just, I want to learn things that I haven't done. And I want to do things to just to do them, to have something else that I can do. I'm just about to start making a movie. You do production, right, on TV and stuff. And uh, I'm thinking about making a movie. That's very exciting. Yeah. A movie about what? Um, it is, uh, well, it is John Benet Ramsey's tricycle, <laughs> is what it is. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm very interested immediately. There's going to be some kind of a leap of faith that this is actually her tricycle. Do you have the tricycle? I do have it. During that time, 1996, I was living in Boulder, about nine blocks away from the Ramsey house, right? And I had no knowledge of the Ramseys. Most people didn't. You know, this murder happens. It's Christmas night. The next day, the news comes out that there was this weird kidnapping, but they found the body in the house and stuff. And it was like, it was this really enthralling case. It really captivated like the nation and the world. I was also very fascinated with the case just because it was such a tragic a little girl murdered on Christmas. Like, what is worse than that? I was setting up my VCR to record the nightly news because, you know, I was trying to watch it, but also, like, if I wasn't home, I could watch it later or whatever. And I, I you know, I, I saved all this stuff because I save everything, you know, so. Wait, you still have the news recordings from 96? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I have thousands of videotapes of everything. It's like, it's one of those things that, um, the... The actual people involved are less interesting to me than everything else around it. I would almost rather have the box of cereal that belonged to the killer than the knife that killed the victim, right? Because it's like, that's like, the box of cereal is pop culture and kind of weird. The knife is like, that's like, was involved in the crime. It was like, has blood on it, whatever, like that's, I don't think I even have anything like that in my collections. And it's John Bonet's tricycle. As far as I know. Why should we trust you? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if you should trust me or not. Right? I mean, I'm a prankster, right? Making a film about the trike, even if it's not hers, right? Even if I was lying and said like, <laughs> you know, I got this I trike at Target. a, I got this trike at a thrift store. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's John Benet Ramsey's trike and see what people think. Yeah, I, I maybe wouldn't even put that past myself, right? This is a thing that I don't remember any pictures of her riding it or video footage or whatever. So it's like, it's kind of this hidden object. I'm showing it to you and telling you about it and telling you my story. And now I'm giving the tricycle its own spotlight. I'm glad that I have it because it's like this memorabilia of this weird thing. And it's like this, just this, it's a weird, it's a weird object. Does it like, does it feel heavy? It, it, it doesn't feel heavy to me to see it. And I just, I've carted it around. I put it in my car or back, whatever. I'm not like, care, you know, like, <laughs> here you go in my back seat. Like, I don't hold it with this, like, power. But until I bring it in a room and show it to somebody and their reaction 
and they're like, oh, that's it right there. This is gonna give me fucking nightmares. And I'm just like, oh, like, yeah, that's like, that's intense. I think people's reaction to it is very interesting to me, obviously. I'm on board and uh, I can't wait to see the tricycle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make a movie about this. It's pretty crazy. Wow, that's totally crazy. Wow, and it's definitely dirty. It's definitely been used. There's what appears to be like mud and grease. I don't know. I mean, it's intriguing for sure to even, you know, think that you're sitting next to something that John Benet Ramsey used to write around <laughs> her block, you know? It's, it's kind of crazy. I don't hold it as some higher power of you know like energy as much as it's just like yeah yeah this is a cool weird phenomenon that like i have happened to have come across i want to take the trike to some psychics um the psychometry is like this a psychic looking taking an object that belonged to somebody and talking about it um seeing what they could what would they say like I don't know what I believe about psychics. Like, I've never had a, a, really an experience where it was like, oh, wow, they know something about me I don't know or whatever. So it's like, but on the other hand, it's like, wow, this thing, while not involved in a crime, was very close to the person. And so if somebody can read something off of an object, this would be the thing, right? So I think just going to a psychic and be like, what can you tell me about this? And see what they say, right? If if nothing fruitful comes out of that, I would consider going back to a psychic or going to a different psychic and be like, this object is John Benet Ramsey's tricycle. What can you tell me about it, right? And see how do, what is the, what's the difference, right? When I told them what it was versus when I, I didn't give them any information. Right. What can we learn about it? It could make a believer out of me. I don't know where this film will go, right? I don't know what the psychics will say. I th I'm thinking the story will unfold. I gotta do something with this, right? This has been sitting in my garage for however many years. This 20th anniversary rolling around, and it's like, it's popping up again. I feel like kind of like now is the time. What if you put it up for auction, right? There's like this thing that is like murderabilia or whatever, like maybe somebody wants to pay money for it. Like, what's the trike worth? I don't know. Well, maybe this film ends in, a, in an auction. Yeah, and it's like, I don't want to get rid of it, so maybe not. What is your goal with this film? The guy who has JonBenet's tricycle is making a movie about it. Like, who's interested in that? Just the word, JonBenet's trike, right? It's like, that invokes, right? Th something in somebody's head. So if you take this to a psychic and it solves a murder, if that's a thing that can happen, what do you do next? I mean, what if you solve this 20-year-old mystery on this film? That would be amazing. Like, that wasn't my goal, but also it's like, if I can help this in any way, like, I would love to. It's a story, right? And it's still being talked about, and that's why I'm making this movie, is for one, I mean, yeah, maybe I'm jumping on a bandwagon here of like, it's still being talked about, like, I want to have my say in it or whatever, but really it's just like, why is this still being talked about? It's like, it captivated the nation for some reason. It's a big story, and so I'm a little part of the big story.